everyone, welcome back to Waken's channel. My name is Seva. In today's video, we are diving deep into the world of CNC machining projects and discussing the crucial process of choosing the right materials. Let's get started. Before getting into the particulars of the material selections, product teams must first take stock of their project requirements. Start by considering these four questions. The first question is, how will the part be used? Engineers must consider their parts and use and where it will be used, as these factors will have a significant impact on the material selections. For example, stainless steel and carbon steel are both suitable for CNC machining, but only the stainless steel are naturally corrosion resistant. Choosing the wrong kind of the steel here would compromise the part's longevity. The second question is, does weight matter? If your part must be light, a common requirement when manufacturing for the automotive and aerospace applications. There are plenty of the low density metal options available. Manufacturers might also consider using a plastic like ABS to keep the weight down if they are willing to sacrifice the strength. The third question is, does the part require high strength or heat resistance? Engineers should determine what kind of strength and to what degree it matters is required for their part. Similarly, temperature requirements will exclude certain materials from the outsets. Engineers should also think about whether their parts be exposed to fluctuating temperatures as nearly all the materials is banged and contracted in response to temperature changes. The last question is, what's the project budget? Materials cost almost always influence the material selections when it comes to CNC machining. Material costs are especially important because this process produces a large amount of the scrap material behind. Engineers should carefully evaluate their budgets before making any final decisions. Today, we will introduce you to the following two common materials used in CNC manufacturing. Aluminum alloys are easy to machine in large values, have a good strength to weight ratio, and high thermal and electrical conductivities. They are also nearly resistant to corrosion. Aluminum 6061 is an all purpose aluminum alloy often used for CNC machining, typically found in the automotive parts, bypasses, and other recreational items. Stainless steel alloy are strong and resistant to distortions, wear, and corrosion. 303 stainless steel include the suffer for include the machine abilities, but this material has a number of the limitations. For example, it cannot co fold heat treaties or welding, and special cares must be taken with the speed and sharpness of the cutting tools during CNC machining. That said, 303 makes excellent nuts, bolts, sharps, and gills. 304 stainless steel is a non magnetic all-purpose steel for CNC machining, not as its toughness. 316 stainless steel is even more corrosion resistant than 304 and 303 since the additions of the molybdenum. It's strong and wet most and one of the few marine grade stainless steels. Since it's impossible to tell the stainless steel apart by the sign alone, Engineers should make sure to test the raw material to confirm the characteristics of their steel they are using. In CNC machining projects, material selection is a complex and critical decision. If you are struggling to choose the right CNC materials for your projects, Wicked is here to help you. We can provide about 60 engineering methods and plastic, and had real experienced machinists and engineers who have recommended materials for your projects within your budget range. Furthermore, with our one-store CNC machining service to meet your expectations, you can confidently to get prototypes and parts with high quality and accuracy. Have any specific questions about the material machining? Please feel free to contact us. See you next time.